Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. Now, I want to remind everybody that I have another channel. And if you want to know what that channel is, that channel, um, I will show you on this right here. Um, so you can go right here to this one right here. And that is my other channel. Let's click on it. I got kicked off of here just a little while ago. <laughs> that asshole, they banned me. I tried to go live on the camera again and, and they blocked me. I'll show you on the video. I, I took a screenshot. His little duck bill or whatever the fuck it looks like. They blocked me. So I went on and uh, I don't know if... Uh, there's a lots of things they were talking about, and I'm going to make another video based upon what they were talking about. And I'm going to give all the Christians some ammunition to go after that motherfucker. I'll give you some truth about scripture and understanding of certain things. So that way, when you go on and they put you on live, you can shut their fucking kafar mouths up. Right? So, I like I say, I do have another channel that's the Rabbi Seven Imam, Rabbi Imam Ahmadi, is my other account. You can go and find that as well. Um, it's the same picture. I have the same picture, so I'll show you here. Um, so here is Khadar Al Mahdi. That's the one that you guys are all on, right here. And the other one is Rabbi Al Mahdi. So you have you have Khadar Al Mahdi, same picture, and Rabbi Al Mahdi, which is a, the same picture but different name. And I usually up, upload back and forth, back and forth, different ones, so on and so forth. Maybe different things are on one than another, and then sometimes I try to put them all on the same one if I can later on down the line. Depends on what I upload. And the reason I have so many, I have even more than those. I have other ones too that I don't tell anybody about. Um, because I, And the reason I do it is because a lot of uh, uh, people who are a bunch of goofy asses, they, they like to send bad... Uh, comments or just mock they don't they don't even comment on the video they just want to hear themselves type on a keyboard and mock and act like a crazy dumbass which is understandable a lot of people do it you know have fun in the world if that's what you like to do and that's what you want to do go ahead but just understand it does not affect me one way or another and even when you see me getting mad or something on the, on about what they do or something else trust me i could give a rat's fucking ass about these guys I know I'm on the right path. I know I'm already walking in the path of the Most High God. And the King Yeshua is my guide all the way to the gates of heaven. And I fear no man. So understand that. I just, I give reactions and I do uh, different things for people because it's, it's content. It's good content, right? You know, you want to see someone act crazy, act crazy. If you want to see somebody put on a mask, I put on a mask, you know, act crazy, you know, all this other stuff. But it's all about life and fun. It's all about just trying to get things across, points across. But me as a person myself, the only way that you'll ever get to know me is who I really am and is a matter of physically contact, physical contact. Uh, you can call me on my Facebook. I've given you my Facebook account. You want to call me on Messenger and actually physically talk to me or something like that. You can clearly do that. I don't run or hide away from anybody. I don't need to take medicine. I don't have any problems like that. Everything about me is a image. And images are pointless. But the truth, the words that I speak about when it comes to God and stuff, those things are absolute knowledge and, and truths. Those things you should pay attention to. Everything else is just trim work. It's fun. It For me, I like to do it, you know, this and that, and so on and so forth. But if you really want to know the true me and my character of how I really am, this and that, it is to actually speak to me. And you know, in all your hadiths, it says that you can actually talk to the Mahdi 
in the palm of your hand. You can watch his videos. You can call him on the phone through Messenger and actually physically talk to me. I'm not somebody like these other clowns out here that say, oh, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm I'm better than you. I'm a sheikh. I'm I, I have to make appointment. I I have to do this. I have to do that. Uh, or or you know, I'm not like I am like you. I, I am anybody, everybody else in the world. That's another way you can truly understand who it is that's the Mahadi man. The Mahadi is very accessible, just like all prophets throughout the ages of the world were very accessible to everybody. God would not make the one that he picks to bring forth a truth for himself not to be allowed to see, or you can't speak to him, or you have to do this, or, you know, God would never do that. He would make me accessible, just like he made all his other prophets and and messengers and everybody else very accessible to every individual that they go around. You understand that whole concept. So when you start noticing people say, oh, you have to set an appointment up. I'm busy. I don't have time right now. These are money. They all want your money. They're liars, thieves, bullshitters. You just don't realize it. They have no education about God. They think they're wise, but they're all fools. If you truly want the true answers, the true uh, revelations about the truth, come, man, come, come. We'll talk. We'll walk. We'll drink. Not wine or liquor. I don't do that. We we'll smoke cigarettes. We'll do whatever. What do you want? We we'll go fishing. We we'll do anything. That it, it, you understand what I'm trying to explain to you. God is a living thing. He's not something mysterious and and oh, we'll never know the truth. Oh no, we can never know. Oh, that's lies that they tell you in order to keep you oppressed and manipulated from God. Because the minute you know God, then you realize. That all those other people were bullshitting fucking liars, man. And that God is in everybody, everyone. You can access him every day, any hour of the day. I don't need special times to go and do rituals and recitations or any of that. No. God is alive. He sleeps not. He wavers not. He is faithful in all things all the time. And you'll understand that. And you'll understand it with me. Now, yes, I lose my patience with ignorance and dummies because I can't, uh, you know, I can't bear it for too long. For After a while, if you're just a plain fool and I have the understanding, you know, I'm speaking to somebody and I realize that all you're doing is just being a mockery or a joker or a clown. Well, I'm going to call you out as what you are. I'll Call you a fucking asshole? Grow the fuck up, you piece of shit. Fucking all you want to do is be a joker? You ain't serious? What the fuck is wrong with you? You know, I'll be like that, of course. Like anyone else would. After a while, you get tired of being poked, right? Poke, poke, poke. You get tired of like, bitch, I will knock you the fuck out. You do it anymore. <laughs> so... Come one, come all, bring all your friends and make it, make it to where, you know, the more, listen, listen, you have to understand this. The more you people make me known and then you go around to your other platforms that the people you follow and you say, hey, why don't you debate Rabbi Ahmadi? Why don't you go say the things you say to Rabbi Ahmadi? We want to hear what he's going to say back to you. The more you press this, in the world, the more they have nowhere to run, they won't be able to hide away on their computers from me no more. And we have forced these guys to recognize me. We have forced these scholars to acknowledge who I am. We have forced them to. And if they don't, well, then we've clearly understood that they're nothing but bullshit lying cowardly men who should never be leading a sheep anywhere. In fact, 
they might as well go bury themselves in their dead man grave and go to sleep nighty night. Because nobody wants to hear a bullshit, motherfucker. And all your fucking religious radical nonsense lies. People nowadays, they hunger for truth. They hunger for it. Did you understand? There is, it's nowhere in the world anymore. All of it's just a bunch of scholarly, I got my certificate and we teach it like this, even though we don't really know. It's just something that's a ritual or a thing passed on by our generation. Nobody wants to do any of this anymore. We all now want the truth. We want more than what you have to offer, you dirty, nodges, whore of religions. And that's when God sends someone to wake you all up. He just so happens to send me a beast of a man. <laughs> you understand? So don't forget, I have another channel. Rabbi Al Mahdi, come to it. Come one, come all. Send a friend. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. I promise. I promise. I won't bite. Very hard, that is. <laughs> Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you.